You're listening to the only multimedia FM station in Houston, Texas. Your fusion radio. Top 40s, dance, Latin, country, pop, rock and roll. All in one station. Mixing genres and generations. You're listening to KNLY New Waverly, Texas. 91.1 FM, The Boss. Programs presented are submitted by members of our community and are a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. The views expressed do not necessarily reflect those of KNLY 91.1 FM, The Boss, and affiliates. Hey, I'm E.L. Crane of The Real Estate You Show. Each and every Saturday, 11 a.m. Central Time, at RadioTheBoss.com, worldwide on the Global Live Network. If you're interested in building, selling, or buying real estate, tune in to the Real Estate You Show with me, Dina, and Mortgage Mac. Talk to you soon. Real Estate You, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, RadioTheBoss.com. It's the Real Estate You Show, where we take your typical real estate show and chuck it out the window. Motivating, inspiring, and educating with a laugh or two along the way. Every week, we bring you the latest happenings in real estate, new construction, and mortgage lending for both residential and commercial. And now, live, this is Real Estate You. Uh, happy Saturday. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> you said so. And we're back. We have been off on what we're going hiatus. Is that what they yes, call it? Yes, that's what it's called. Hiatus. Yeah. We, uh, well, Mac was missing in action. Yeah. Dina was interviewing potential husbands, but I was working. Can't speak to them. Then we had Thanksgiving, and now the Real Estate You Show is back. Each and every Saturday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., except when they are doing their lovey dovey stuff. They? <laughs> My God. <laughs> Live stream on the Global Live Network, RadioTheBoss.com, and RealEstateYouShow.com. Our You Show brought to you by Platinum One Properties, a premier real estate firm located in Houston, Texas, creating the standard in real estate representation, buying, selling, and leasing. We're here each and every Saturday, 11 a.m. Central, noon Eastern, and 9 a.m. Pacific Time. You can follow us on Instagram under Real Estate You Show. That's where we be at. Okay. Uh, today's topic is our listings of the week, financing, open houses, home showcases, builder boost. Dina's Realtor Corner, Max Mortgage Minute that takes 13 minutes, <laughs> and upcoming Realtor events. You go <laughs> Remember, you can text us nationwide at 800-297-9883. That's 800-297-9883. Now, our studio always includes leaders and knowledge that is incomparable in the marketplace. Real estate, you about real estate, mortgages, new construction, commercial real estate, and finance. The entrepreneurs who drive our economy. And we don't have any guests today because this is all about the three of us. That's the right. trio. That's right. Of gurus and slash one is a guru slash sucker for love. That would be <laughs> Mac Blankenship. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm joined by our very esteemed award winning real estate broker, Dina Salazar of one, Platinum One Properties in the Dina's Real Touch Corner. Hey Good Dina. Good morning. How's everybody doing? She looks yeah. all lively and stuff like she got a date after the show or something. I don't know. Hey. I got some breasts during the holiday. You got some breasts during the holiday. Breast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know. I heard. Uh, you see what I have to put up with? This I think this is a prelude yeah. to the city yeah. of the week here. Yeah. You know, we might want to. Exactly. No. He just got back from an out of town yeah, trip. Been, so yeah, he's, he's been to Miami. There's no telling what hey, kind of corruption I had he's experienced there. It was work. I work for a living. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I work. work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Miami. I don't think they work in Miami. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we, we like, yeah. I'm telling you, it was work. You can learn more about the amazing Platinum One Property Team at PlatinumOneProperties.com. Spell out the word one and don't be a dummy and use the number one. And, I, and I'm also joined by the guru of mortgage, Mac Blankenship, of First Community Credit Union. How you doing? Good. Yeah? Yeah. I see you've been in, in Miss Clara all again, but oh, anyway. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, I, I, I let I let it go right here. Yeah, you do. Yo, he's like, let me, he, 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 he used it on top, yeah, and he we, ran out of that on yeah, top. Got, got rid of all that stuff over here, though. Yeah, we got to get rid of that rinse thing. Just oh, let goodness, it go, you know, man. Go ahead and be Santa Claus. That's the price you pay. Santa 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 Claus. Claus. Go ahead and be Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> No, thank you. Okay. Are you sure? Okay. I'm positive. Okay. He doesn't want to be Santa. Okay. Our host of contributors include Eden Vick of Finance America Commercial, Vicky Cheers, RM Funding, Kim Gooley of Build a Boost, Dual Speaks, and our floor affiliate, Are You Florida, uh, Jennifer Nina at uh, Nations Lending, Florida. Now, Real Estate U is the only two hour DBM hosted <laughs> multimedia <laughs> real estate show in the world, and you are welcome, damn it. Ta -da. Ta -da. Here we go. Now, somebody's got to do it, right? Somebody, somebody got to do it. Yeah, yeah. And DBM. You have to tell people what that stands for. Oh, disgruntled black man. Okay. Okay. Just, you know, we, just so we can clarify. Disgruntled black man. You know. <laughs> <laughs> not angry, but just not angry. There's a whole difference. Okay. Now, you our weekly goes educate, inspire, and motivate. Class is now in session. You can listen to our previous shows on the Real Estate Show dot com website and our YouTube TV channel. Each week, we go on <clears throat> a real estate you culture trip and cities the weekend texas nationwide and worldwide and mac has a singular job to try to catch me in a lie and he has failed miserably plus this is the only thing that mac and dina allow me to do unsupervised that is correct <laughs> that so is correct we have nothing to do with that and you know even with that we should put a disclaimer Thank hey you, mac. don't you think i have been on my best behavior for weeks now you just came back from miami <laughs> That might work down there, but that's oh not working gosh. here. You know, the things I what, what might be considered good behavior in Miami is probably off the charts here. Yeah, okay, and but I do have to acknowledge, uh, 13E operations and salsa dancing don't mix. <laughs> you know, that's probably the most truthful thing you've said since we I started the show today. I think it beyond salsa dancing. I heard something about a limbo contest. Limbo yeah. in... <laughs> don't mix. Look, limbo and back surgery. Don't mix. <laughs> Did anybody get any pictures? I don't know. Please, please heaven, no. <laughs> you know, if I if I were there, I would hold the if I had pictures, I would hold them for hold him for yeah, ransom. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure somebody has. Yeah. I'd hold yeah, him I haven't seen those. anything. Yeah. Yeah. They, they they have me in my normal behavior outside at the yacht club. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go national first. Okay, let's go. National first. I have a three-bedroom, three-bath, 2,400-square-foot home on 0.288 acres for $10 million. What? <laughs> in Pleasure Point, California. Well, that's not surprising. Pleasure Point. And your monthly payment for 30 years on $10 million is 47000 Two hundred eighty-one dollars. I definitely got the two eighty-one, and that's it right there. Wow. Let's see. Okay, there's also a second picture that justifies the ten uh, million dollar price okay. tag. Okay. Okay. Definitely justifies the ten million dollar price tag. Is it tag. a waterfront or what is it? Well, you yeah, can it's really like see. Okay, okay. Yeah, you can like see. It's on the the. Um Look at that. Oh, oh, wow. Look at that. That's your okay. front yard. Yeah. That is okay. your front yard. Your front yard. That's your front yard. That's your front yard. I don't know if I want to spend $50,000 a month from that, that front yard. You don't want that front yard right well, there? I wouldn't mind it, but I don't know about that yeah, price point. Yeah, that's yeah. $47,000. Santa don't know about Cruz that. County. Yeah. 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 $247,281. Again, the two eighty one. dollars Mac, do you have the $47,000? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm working on it. You're working on but it. But I'm working okay, on it. Okay, okay. Now, would you like to know how he got his name? Sure. The Northern California town is famous for surfing and for possibly inspiring the classic Hitchcock movie, The Birds. This oh, is where it was filmed at. No oh. kidding. Yeah, this That's is where that it was filmed That area. That area. Oh, okay. Okay. According to the nearby <laughs> city of Capitola website, locals like to tell people he got his name for being the site of a brothel, <laughs> i.e., <laughs> Pleasure Point. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah. Okay. You know, I you know I thought that area looked very familiar. You know, I, I maybe yeah. shouldn't say this, but you know when I, when I was a young man, I I I was a hitchhiker. Hitchhiked all along the California coast. Why and is that a nice shocking Beach. revelation? That is totally and, you know, This revelation. is just right, just north of New Brighton Beach. Yeah, mm -hmm. I knew that. I knew that beach looked familiar. Now it, it you know the bra but the more accepted origin of its name is is that in the earliest. 20th century, it was the home of a health spa 
and salt water swimming pool called the Pleasure Point Plunge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds legit. Go with the latter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds legit, but they feel like they got more traction out of the brothel because of Men's Health magazine because you can find it in the dark. <laughs> That's our oh, city of the week EO nationally. Too much time in Miami. <laughs> That's our national. <laughs> That's our national. Okay. okay. Our okay. international. Okay. 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 I have a 10 bedroom, 7 bath, 17,800 square foot home for $86 million. What? what, what, what? Dollars. Say that again. Say that again. 10 86 bedroom. Million? $86 million in over P over. Great Britain. <laughs> that, well, nothing, Look at that house. Oh, wow. Nothing surprises me in Europe. Look at right? that house they just right ran there. out of name Dang. centuries ago. So you pee over the house? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's over pee over Great Britain. Okay, on 30 years, your monthly payment is $406,621 a month. That's all? Uh, I got the 621. That's, you got the that's, 621. I got the 621. Okay. Surprisingly cheap. $406,000. But you know what? I still haven't found. I have to found, pictures of that. Exactly. No, 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 wait a minute. No, wait a minute. I still haven't found the city on. on it's on, over P over. Over P over. Over P over. And P over is P E O V E R. Over P over. Over P over Cheshire, England. There you okay. go. Okay. Oh my goodness, <laughs> he, he, he didn't lie about this. One. So this is, he didn't lie. You want to go to Over P over? Not sure if I want to know. Not Would sure. you like to know how but I'm Over sure P over? Tell me anyway. There you go. In ancient times, Over P over was part of an immense oak wood in the county of Cheshire, providing various monarchs with timber for warships and weapons. Ruling monarchs, for their part, have not always treated the lands of Cheshire so uh, generous, uh, generously. It's mentioned in the Domesday Book, which is a manuscript record of the great survey of much of England and parts of Wales, and it was completed in 1086. Wow, that was a long time ago. By order of King William the Conqueror. No wow. kidding. Yes. Wow. And that was just at the at the dawn of what is today Great Britain. Exactly. Yes, yes. Exactly. And the and the monarchy that still exists. There you is, go. Is, there you go. Is the See, Windsor. This is not family. only City of the Week. This is also the History Channel. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I was going to say I'm enjoying that part of it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> now in Texas, I have a six bedroom, six bath. For the paltry amount of one million one hundred fifty thousand oh, dollars, that's for nothing. Oh my gosh. Please, folks, come on. <laughs> okay, six, six, seven thousand seven hundred forty-four square foot home. Again, for the paltry amount of one million one hundred fifty thousand dollars in Nacogdoches, Texas. Oh, okay. Nacogdoches. Look at that town. Now, right. I don't know how to spell that, but I know it's a real city. Yeah, it's a real city. Okay. Now, on your thirty-year payment is five thousand four thirty-seven. Again, I'm on the back end. I got the 437. Yeah. I ran a 5,000. <laughs> okay. Mac raised his hand. He well, got the 5,000. I raised my hand because you know what? You know, you you said Nacogdoches, right? Yeah. Texas, right? Yeah. So you know I grew up in Louisiana. Yeah. I spelled Nacogdoches. Oh, yeah. You, are you really? You spelled Nacogdoches? <laughs> I'm well, from you know Nacogdoches. That, you know I'm Nacogdoches. from Nacogdoches, Louisiana, not yeah, Nacogdoches, Nac Texas. Nacogdoches, Louisiana is a totally <laughs> different place, right? <laughs> Nacogdoches is open. You know, it's like but a, you know, hey, it might as well be in Europe, right? Yeah, yeah. But people yeah. always say Nacogdoches when if, if they don't know anything about Nacogdoches. Nacogdoches. They, <laughs> 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 Would you like to know how Nacogdoches got his name? Yes. Yes, yes okay. please. Considered to be the oldest town in Texas. No kidding. Yes. I didn't know that. It's How in the, the world oldest did that happen? I don't, I'm going to tell be you migrants why. from Louisiana. All right. Nacogdoches was actually found in 1779 by Don Antonio Gil Ibarro. Okay. This quaint little town is booming with history and stories from years past, beginning with the Cato Indians who lived in the area before the Spanish did. No kidding. Uh -huh. yeah. well, through through the present well, they day. Here before uh -huh. we did. Uh -huh. <laughs> the earliest settlers of Nacogdoches were a local Cairo tribe called the Nacogdoche. Okay. okay. Okay, I like that. Who came to East Texas 800 AD. Wow. 800, the year Love 800. It. Yeah. 
That's how you got Nacogdoches, Texas. That's awesome. Good wow. stuff. I told stuff. you. I'm on my best behavior you here. You really are doing good, EO. I did exactly. Uh, you know what? That was All that was not, not even PG-13. I think that was what? PG? Yes. That was all job. PG. This is me. Man. The worst thing I said was P-O. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. I forgot that. <laughs> so we're going to take a break. Come back for the uh, second segment because it's going to win a little over this time because Mac had to share his uh, information for whatever damn reason. I don't know. <laughs> the, the hitchhiking the, episode. The hitchhiking, <laughs> you know, you know, hey, but you know, I haven't even got started on England yet. You know, that, that little place that right there, that little forest, right? Okay, so we're going to take a break, pay some bills. That's all right with you? It's all Mr. Right, Clara, man. whatever. The boss. I'm Dina Salazar, broker and owner of Platinum One Properties. For the past 20 years, my passion for real estate and strong sense of integrity have been the driving force and key to making real estate dreams come true for our clients. With preferred lenders, builders, and title companies, we are able to provide service beyond your expectations. So if you're in the market to sell, buy, or lease, give us a call today. Platinum One Properties, exceeding expectations and creating the standard in real estate. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1. I'm E.L. Crane with BRPS Title, your marketing and growth partner. Real estate, builders, mortgage lenders. If you're looking to grow your business, call E.L. Crane with BRPS Title, 281-810-3363. That's 281-810-3363. That's E.L. Crane, BRPS Title, Director of Education and Sales, your growth partner. The title company doesn't do what? I do. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1. Eddie here, Platinum One Properties. We're creating the standard building relationships. We are members of BROAC and GHBA, Greater Houston Builders Associations. This relationships have given us the ability and the opportunity to help you with your real estate purchases. We build relationships with lenders, title companies, and home repair services. We can come in and we can help you decide the way to sell your home, how to put it on the market, and the best value for it. At Platinum One Property, we want you to get the best deal and the best Best offer. Edward Anderson at 281-989-7987 or Dina Salazar 832-646-9054. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1. Osborne Advisors, the official commercial mortgage company for Real Estate U on 91.1 FM The Boss. Again, that is Osborne Advisors for all your commercial mortgage needs. Osborne Advisors, reuloan.com. That is reuloan.com for all your commercial mortgage needs. At 91.1 This message was from a proud sponsor to KNY 91.1 FM. I'm E.L. Crane with BRPS Title, your marketing and growth partner. Real estate, builders, mortgage lenders. If you're looking to grow your business, call E.L. Crane with BRPS Title, 281-810-3363. That's 281-810-3363. That's E.L. Crane, BRPS Title, Director of Education and Sales, your growth partner. The title company doesn't do what? I do. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. Okay, we're back. Bills are paid. Mac is still running his mouth over there. Mm-hmm. He came. He, he probably, I think, yeah, I was going to say, he probably had a lot of coffee this morning. Yep, yep. Yeah, a lot of coffee? Yeah. Double. That's a double. Double espresso. Then again, you are a little fella. Anyway, I'm the L. Crane in there now. <laughs> That's his version of a double. <laughs> so, Mac, did you have a good week? He done disappeared. And who dressed you this morning? Really? Me? Yeah, really? By yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. You need to fire yourself. Anyway, I'm the L. Crane, and definitely not his haberdasher. 
Uh, hey, B, you have a good week? I had a great week, yeah. What did you do this week? Besides, miss me. Oh, my gosh. Well, somebody was barking out demands long distance <laughs> uh, in regard to uh, business plans and so forth. So, um, in my downtime between clients, I was, you know, trying to put together my, my stuff. That's but, right. Yeah, it's just like... Yeah, because you thought somebody I was, just was out salsa of dancing and, and sending out emails. <laughs> I was like, "What the heck is going he on?" He was salsa dancing. I was salsa dancing. No, I don't believe it. What, I'd like have this to, here. That I would have to Watch see. Watch this here. Thirteen knee operations and salsa dancing don't mix. Let's go with that right there. What I was doing, I had body parts moving everywhere. I just don't know if they were doing it in unison. <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to bet money that they weren't. I have no idea if they were moving. Oh my gosh. I don't know if they was moving in unison or not. But I was out there, boy. The only thing I wanted after that thing was over with some ice on my knees. Yeah, Jesus. I bet. That just oh too gosh. much stuff going on right yeah. there. But we didn't miss our classes this week. That's I got up yeah. every morning and did my RMG classes. Mm -hmm. And then I went to my meetings and stuff like that. But I had fun. And Dina even told me I needed to go have some fun. You know, Mac, I don't have much fun. Well, you work 24-7. It's hard to have fun. And this yeah. month, actually, is, you know, it's still busy, but it's a little bit slower just because the holiday's approaching. Yeah. And there's zero inventory available. I know. So I'm having a hard time for the buyers on board um, left. And there's a few listings uh, still on board. We're, we're trying to move out um, this month to close out the year. But it's it's been a little hectic trying to find properties it for is. people. And, and, it, and it's actually national because while I was in uh, Miami, mm -hmm. the, um, the market there is the same, low inventory. But they're high-end stuff that's selling, 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 selling. Yeah. It's just crazy. So people with money, they still buy it. It's the broke people that can't buy nothing. Yeah. Well, you know, I think, isn't Miami more? That's not funny. It is funny. And, and, and you say Miami. There's just high end in Miami. Yeah. I think. A lot of luxury. Well, no. Front. no, no like, cartel. No, no. Watch no. oh. this here. Right here. Look, look, we were going to do a photo shoot, right, yeah. over by the Yacht Club and then our Key Best Game Bay. But, uh. They made a wrong turn, and we went through this area. I said, we doing a photo shoot over here? Because this was a little suspect. I locked my door, okay? I mean, <laughs> I'm like, what the hell going on over here? Then they realized, okay, you turned left instead of right. Uh, they was busy texting and driving and stuff like yeah. that. I said, no, 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 no. So then when we got there, it was this beautiful gated community. It was an older community, but the houses were gorgeous, and everybody had their own private dock. Nice. Everybody had their own private yeah. doctor. Yeah. So it was really, really cool. But no. But all of the high end stuff was selling. And you're right, what it was Hollywood, Florida, Adventura, uh, Miramar. That's where all the new stuff is yeah. there. Most yeah. stuff in Miami is old stuff. Yeah. Old, yeah. Except for those big tall uh, uh, condo the condo high yeah. rise, yeah. and yeah. they had one. I, I didn't know if they people lived there or if the ship was getting ready to take off. I, it looked like a ship that was getting really? ready. To, yes, it looked like this big giant rocket ship that was getting ready to take off. And then we went to this place called Porterhouse, i.e. steak, and they said, "Eo, you like the steak?" I said, "It was food. It wasn't that good. It wasn't, wasn't that good. good. No, wasn't that good. <laughs> they need to change their name. Clearly, them. you weren't in Texas anymore. No, right? yeah. why, exactly. exactly. Yeah. They, yeah. It should have been a situation. We never cook a steak again. That's the, that should be the name of that place. <laughs> never cook a steak again. <laughs> <laughs> when you and when I asked for medium, I leave my red strip in there. Yeah. There was no red in there at all. You know, Eel is just very." Well known for his commentary on uh, <laughs> food, <laughs> on food, mm -hmm. and so I think uh, as your side gig, we need to have El invited to area restaurants. Yes, our new new restaurants that are opening to test out their I could their that. food and actually do a and live, a, service. a live critique of his food. And yes. if it's great, he'll tell you it's but great. Right. You know what? Yeah. And I would be all for that, right? But yeah. I think that you and I need to be in the, be yeah. there just to keep him within the guard <laughs> Right. and keep him, you know, um, socially appropriate. Right. Right. And, what? And, and then, and then we could order something that might be just complete opposite of what he might not ever order. And we could measure the, 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 yeah. the, the you would that. definitely Wait, be ordering yeah. something. He would, would be ordering order. porterhouse and I would be probably ordering sandwich. Yeah. If right. he has permission, right. yeah. you got to have permission to go out with B and Dino. You already know that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually you're probably right. I probably have to have your permission and gazelles. Exactly. Yeah, Cause yeah. We, we don't want you out there going rogue. <laughs> 
Don't worry, Gisela. When he's with us, we, we watch out for him. So yeah, we'll I know. I, I just let he him do what he wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to take a break. Come back. We're going to be back on point. So we're going to take a break. Come back. Bye. Let him do what Pay he wants bills. to do. We're going to get some. What are you Pay some bills, Carlos. Pay some bills, Carlos. <laughs> I'm Dina Salazar, broker and owner of Platinum One Properties. For the past 20 years, my passion for real estate and strong sense of integrity have been the driving force and key to making real estate dreams come true for our clients. With preferred lenders, builders, and title companies, we are able to provide service beyond your expectations. So if you're in the market to sell, buy, or lease, give us a call today. Platinum One Properties, exceeding expectations and creating the standard in real estate. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. Top 40s. Dance. Latin. Country. Pop. Rock and roll. All at one station. 91.1 FM, the boss. I'm E.L. Crane with BRPS Title, your marketing and growth partner. Real estate, builders, mortgage lenders. If you're looking to grow your business, call E.L. Crane with BRPS Title. 281-810-3363. That's 281-810-3363. That's E.L. Crane, BRPS Title, Director of Education and Sales, your growth partner. The title company doesn't do what? I do. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. We are KNLY 91.1 FM, the boss. Osborne Advisors, the official commercial mortgage company for real estate you on 91.1 FM, the boss. Again, that is Osborne Advisors for all your commercial mortgage needs. Osborne Advisors, reuloan.com. That is reuloan.com for all your commercial mortgage needs at... 91.1 This message was from a proud sponsor to KNY 91.1 FM. <laughs> Top 40s. Dance. Latin. Country. Pop. Rock and roll. Station 91.1 FM, the boss. Okay, bills are paid. I'm back. They're still here. I don't know what the hell's all in mind. I'm EL Crane. They are not. No, we're not. This is the Real Estate You Show Facebook Live, Facebook TV, Live, Live TV, YouTube, YouTube TV, FM, FM TV, TuneIn, Roku, Vimeo, Apple TV. Peacock Network, Voodoo, Hulu, YU, and he's still dressing himself. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. He need to do a better job. You want to call my haberdasher? Yo. You sure? I got a great haberdasher. I, I'm willing to introduce you. No, it's okay. You don't want me to help you out? No, no. He chooses to be a bum, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Two will find any reason. Well, at least EL. Mac tolerates it. <laughs> but I have to share something with you that I shared on Facebook. Uh oh. Okay, here you go. Uh oh. She asked God to remove everything fake from her life. This woman. Now she's bald headed, ain't got no eyebrows, and her purse is missing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not nice of you. <laughs> I'm just sharing here. Yes. I'm just sharing. Yeah. Hey, guess what? Yes. 
Carlos told us mm-hmm. this week that we have a 91.1 FM The Boss app, app. on Android the, and Apple. Yeah, yep. you can download it. Just go to the Apple Store. <laughs> yeah, see, we moving on up, even in Spider Mac. Yeah, we would have had an app a long time ago, but you know we have to have everybody involved. But when you go into witness protection because you got a girlfriend, can't get him to sign nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, but we do have the app now yeah. and stuff like that, so you can download. So you take, watch live, you watch live. You know, which which you know, most folks are like, well, why is that important? But you know, I I know that you ought to be able to listen to us while you're doing other things on your. And phone you can go now. back and listen yes. to other shows and everything. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's what, you know. So that's what the app is all about. Yeah. Because you know, we're expanding uh, our footprint uh, with you know who the advertisers and the marketing partners are and stuff like that, and it's going to be benefited. For, for beneficial for the agents we work with, the builders we work with, First Community Credit Union, stuff like that, and Spotify, Apple, Google Podcast as well. Who knew? Spotify. We are in the high rent district. Really? Yeah, yeah. we are now. Yeah. Yeah. Apple district. too? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. It's hell being us, but somebody got to do it. Somebody's got to do it. Somebody got to do it. Yeah. So, Mac, how volatile has the mortgage market been since the election is over with? I don't know that it's been volatile. I, th- I think that what we've done is we've seen new some new lows with regards to interest rates, okay. at, at least on the, in the broader market. You know, we've been pretty low on rates I know. for at the credit union for a long time, yeah. right? You know, with um, but I, I think that you know the, the industry has followed suit and continued to lower rates. I think early on they were concerned about early payoffs, early oh, refinances, yeah. and you know and. You know, rates did not necessarily reflect where they should be, right? Based upon the price of mortgage-backed securities. Whereas, you know, with the credit union, we, you know, we, we we're not. You set your own we, standard. We we set the we set our own standard, and our rates have been low. Um, and I think the industry has just began to to catch up with us. Um, but as far as volatility is concerned, you know, I don't I don't know that there, there's been any volatility related to the election I okay. think that I think the pandemic is more of a driver of any um, market fluctuations right now and, and okay I have to address that yeah okay okay while I was in Florida yeah uh-huh. all right you know I have a tendency not to have a filter right I don't know we if you was that. aware of that yeah or you are aware of that oh okay. yeah we knew that <laughs> so, so they were not prepared for you they were not prepared oh, okay, okay okay so we're at a round table discussion about home buyers mm-hmm. and the, the unemployment, you know, 38 million people lost their jobs, stuff like that. Yeah. No, 40 million people lost their job. Mm-hmm. And I was like. And only 20 million have, been, have come back. Yeah. yeah, but this is what I told the people. I said, um, you know, I'm a truth teller. This is gonna sound a little callous, but 38 million out of the 40 million couldn't buy a house in the first damn place. And they're like, and everybody like, and then the guy named him, don't say that kind of stuff. I'm like it's but the truth, but it's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. Yeah. Okay. So then you had two million who could qualify financially, but they couldn't qualify credit wise to buy a home. Okay. Which is why the market was fully sustained throughout COVID because agents and builders and liquidation of inventory has been at a record pace. And, in 2020. And I believe a lot of that is due to the central bank's movement early on in the pandemic to come Absolutely. in and support the credit markets. There you and because without that, you know, there was a standstill for a couple of weeks, or yeah. at least for one week that I recall, until the, 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 the central bank came in, the Federal Reserve came in and said, hey, you know, we're going to. We're going to come in and we're going to support the credit markets and we're going to buy up mortgage-backed securities and, and, and treasuries. And strengthen everything. And, and, and just so that you know people could have confidence in the American credit markets. And what that did is that pushed interest rates down. And, you know, it's, and it's you, a flow. we've had, what, how many years of growth since the last Great Recession? Yeah. And people have tremendous amounts of equity and, and historically low interest rates. Well, boom. And people it's time to sell. have yeah. finally realized that the backbone of and the buy. economy is construction because it has so many arms that are engaged in it. And you know, and I think that that works along both residential and commercial. Absolutely. I, I, think, Absolutely. The, I think the two work hand in hand and you know, where, where uh, residential goes, commercial has a tendency to follow. Exactly, because yeah. they have to have services and that's what it comes to. They have to have services, that's services. exactly right. Now see, Dina, 
Um, if you were to say, I have 10 clients, which I know you have more than that, but anyway, you didn't say, I got 10 clients. Right. How many out of the 10 are looking for new construction versus resale? I would say 50% of them are, are seeking new construction, and the other 50 that are not, it's because they either want acreage or right. something unique exactly. in their criteria that they can't afford exactly. in a new construction, mm -hmm. like a custom you know, right. construction. Mm -hmm. Um, I've also seen an increase in commercial uh, okay. activity, yeah. um, and we have a lot of, well, due to COVID, uh, many businesses unfortunately went out, and um, there's a lot of second generation restaurant spaces oh, and so right. forth. That's true. That's true. And so you got to think that if somebody is put, prepared to enter the market at this point, um, a second generation space is going to save them anywhere from you know 100,000 100, to, to right. 300 yeah. depending exactly. on the size Retrofit. of the place. Exactly. So exactly. Um, that's a savings for, for many people. So they're on right. it. Uh, but again, the landlords are, are more particular too. They don't want just anybody in the space. And you can't hardly blame them in, yeah. in, in today's marketplace. And I got, I got to imagine that would be true for in residential investors as well. Yeah. Yeah. And see, in, uh, what like I uh, found out lately from a lot of agents, mm -hmm. They're getting their own independent offices now. I, you, you, they're not even brokers, but they want their own space now because it's so affordable. Because a lot of these those smaller businesses that went under, yeah, the, that office space, and so these office buildings are giving these they're giving deals. I'm telling you that virtual office space has That's become extremely I'm popular. That's got to be and because if you needed to reserve a conference room or something, right. you can do that. On a need you, basis. But most people are working out of home during COVID and no. have become accustomed to it. Right. So, I can't work from home. Yeah, some people can't, but most people As soon as I hear home. a lawnmower or a dog bark, I'm ready to lose my mind. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I just can't. I cannot work from home. I, I see people say, oh, you're sitting up your home office? No. I got I have to go somewhere in the morning. I have to get up and go out. And you have yeah. to dress up. Exactly. And yes. put on your suit. Yes. And my tie. And comb your... No, you don't have no hair. Yeah. <laughs> shave my head. I have to shave my head, shave all this, and head due north. And because, as my late father would say, be prepared to meet the most important person in the world when you leave that house. Good for him. And that yeah. was the original EL. And don't you dare challenge the original EL. Wouldn't think of it. Wouldn't yeah. think of it. Yeah, the original Eat Alano wasn't no joke. <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but D, resale, zero inventory. I mean, and then you know what's happening. Too. Zero is a qualifier, but it's it, but there's really no inventory. There's really not a lot of inventory, and people are very um, specific with their needs. Oh yeah, you know so. I, I've called a couple of home builders mm -hmm. this past week. Oh, yeah. They have no inventory available. Wow. So I got put on a list um, with my client's criteria. Right. So if somebody happens to fall out or cancel, really? then if I'm on the list, they'll go down and maybe I'll get something. And so. see, and in uh, January, February, March this year, okay, I mean 2021, Yeah. they're doing something, the builders are doing something they've never done before. What? What's up? They're going to be building they have you know, they're gonna have construction starts that normally are April, May, June. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna ramp up in the beginning of the year instead of that part going into summer sales. Yeah, they're going into spring sales. All right. And you know that's probably a, a good strategy because yeah. you know I, I you know beyond the s seasonal um, slowdown, you know I don't see any reason why. We would expect real estate to to start going the opposite direction, oh, no. especially with no inventory. But there's not going to be a spring. It's not going to be a late winter this, spring slowdown yeah. this year because there is pent up demand. When I was on the conference call, the builders conference call last week, the builders are literally giddy about what's coming in 2021. Okay, especially because. The doomsayers about how the election was going to turn out. Right. It didn't turn out that right, way. Right, exactly. You know, interest rates stayed down. There is what is it, a shared government, mm -hmm. so to speak. Mm -hmm. You know, so they have to try to cooperate. But at the end of the day, interest rates didn't go up, didn't. which was the biggest fear. No, they went down a little bit, a little, not a lot, but a little bit. And you know, in the, go ahead. In the economic forecast that I saw for the first first quarter is negative GDP 
again, mm -hmm. specific to um, this second wave of, of COVID-19. Right. But, you know, the, the, but the long-term prospects now that we have a vaccine are is we should beyond that That's start, why they're experiencing, doing construction. start experiencing yeah. growth. That's and, right. and But I, I think that the position of the, the Federal Reserve with regards to inflation could be um, in an expanding economy with growing GDP and potential inflationary pressure could cause rates to rise next year. I don't think so. No? No. Well, because we'll see. You'll, so it'll remember, be a stalling remember he effect. said that. Remember he said yeah, that. That's right. right. I said because, that. Because, you know. On we, December the 5th, we, 2020, damn it. Yeah. I said that. And I'm going to tell you why. This is a pretty, you know, we're going to take a break. They can't add any more pressure to the economy. It's already under pressure as it is. Because, and I'm quite upset. Because one of these places where I go get my shirts made at, they're out of business. So I got to find a whole yeah, new place to get my shirts done yes, now. Yes, yes. And I'm not keep, happy. Keep this in mind, gang, <laughs> that the uh, price of the supplies that the builders yes. are using had risen. Yeah. Okay. So their prices have gone up. And some people put themselves on hold because they, they were angry. The prices were, I said, right. look, jump on it now. The That's interest right. rates are low. That's right. So if they just, if the interest rates start to go up, then you're going to be, in, you know. Yeah, and they can't, and they can't have that. Yeah. So we're going to, on that note, and Max, uh, doomsayer uh, analysis of the future, because, you know, anybody that dresses themselves like that, you know, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> we're going to take my sweater. A <laughs> We're going to take, take a break, oh pay God. some bills, <laughs> and hopefully he got three minutes to run out to Walmart and do better than what he's doing. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. What? We're going to get Mac a new sweater for Christmas okay. between the two of us. Hey, <laughs> you know what? Microsoft just came out with new ugly sweaters. I love it. Okay. Take a break. Oh, <laughs> God, Jesus. Hint, hint. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm E.L. Crane of the Real Estate You Show. Each and every Saturday, 11 a.m. Central Time at RadioTheBoss.com, worldwide on the Global Live Network. If you're interested in building, selling, or buying real estate, tune in to the Real Estate You Show with me, Dina, and Mortgage Mac. Talk to you soon. Real Estate You, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, RadioTheBoss.com. Eddie here, Platinum One Properties. We're creating the standard building relationships. We are members of BROAC and GHBA, Greater Houston Builders Association. These relationships have given us the ability and the opportunity to help you with your real estate purchases. We build relationships with lenders, title companies, and home repair services. We can come in and we can help you decide the way to sell your home, how to put it on the market, and the best value for it. At Platinum One Property, we want you to get the best deal and the best offer. Edward Anderson at 281-989. 7987 or Dina Salazar 832-646-9054. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. Top 40s, dance, Latin, country, pop, rock and roll, all in one station. 91.1 FM, The Boss. Osborne Advisors, the official commercial mortgage company for Real Estate You on 91.1 FM, The Boss. Again, that is Osborne Advisors for all your commercial mortgage needs. Osborne Advisors, reuloan.com. That is reuloan.com for all your commercial mortgage needs at 91.1 This message was from a proud sponsor to KNY 91.1 Okay, we're back. Bills are paid. And Max still don't know how to dress himself. Okay. Hey, Dina, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm talking to Linda Rika right now. She's doing an open house. Oh, at, far, at 12 Farther Point? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so I was inviting her to come on board. Um, you and send her the link and stuff like that? I'm doing it right now. Yeah. Okay. So, cool. Um, yeah, because, you know, I like Linda in spite of herself. You know, she's know. short. You know, Linda's short. Well, you know. she's awesome. So yeah, but I, plus, I love Linda. Plus, plus, she got this granny thing going on right now. Oh yeah, Linda's into. Being she's a, a double granny in a couple of months. Yeah, yeah over two, uh, two, over two or three she, months, she had two grandkids at the same time. Oh man, that's and so crazy. She lost her mind. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> so, uh, Sarita's doing an open house today at five thousand two Limbar. Okay, uh, isn't Sarita supposed to be checking yeah, in with she us? In with the, uh, She's not. She's not, not yet. Okay. Just really need to do better what she's doing. Something's happening. Yeah, something's happening over yeah. there. You know, basically, you know, I know it's a little cold. That's why you gotta have a flask. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you gotta have a flask. Is that what you, you gotta said? have a flask? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, see, that's Limbar right there. I love that house. I wish I was in the market for that kind of house, but I'm not. I mean, um, it's a great ranch-style home. It's been completely remodeled, and, and we'll go there with Sarita in a few minutes. Uh, she's doing open house today until 3. She's there now. Uh, she may have people there. That's probably why she's yeah. Skyped in. But, um, that, and we'll also have uh, from 5 to 7 on Monday a uh, realtor event. A posting event. Yeah, posting event. Yeah, uh, if you're a realtor and interested. A client looking please stop by. And I'll have a for me, my personal use, my own bottle of champagne. Yes, there'll be, there'll be uh, individual <laughs> bottles of champagne for those visitors. Who no, by. no individual bottle for me. No, I'm not sharing. What? No, I've decided I'm not sharing my I individual bottle of champagne him. because you know, you know it's Mr. Selfish. That's right. Bring your own damn liquor. Oh. <laughs> He came back with an attitude. No kidding. <laughs> a bad one at that. I you know, know. You, right? maybe you know. said that my, my it's not that my Miami. It's the, it's the salt water. It's yeah. the salt water. It's that, the salt that, water. That, okay, I can it's buy the salt that. water. Yeah. And the scantily dressed women. <laughs> yes. Now the truth comes out. <laughs> not, I wasn't paying attention though. Yeah. Of course not. That was, you know. yeah. But if anybody's looking in the Independence Heights area, uh, right. I have uh, four units that are almost completed almost finished? there. Oh, yeah. that's the one we got to get the yeah, stuff going. That's few, right. Yeah, a few uh, weeks out, so um, that would be perfect time. Are we going to do signage over there like with the signs and the logos? Are we gonna do four that? individual units or one four, four unit? Four individual units. Okay. Yeah. 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 Are we going to do the yeah, signage over there? We'll go check it out and see what it needs. Yeah. 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 Do the signage, stuff like that. we need to have that moving out now okay now mac here's a question for you has uh i saw an ad that said these are govies now that the government loan is going down the fh is going to 600. it went up to 620 640 now it went back to 600. what do you think that's about so i you know i think that's about COVID overlays okay okay so okay. you know what happened on a national almost on, on a national basis is most lenders implemented specific overlays for COVID for both government and conventional loans. But I, I can tell you that, you know, one of the companies that I do business with implemented no overlays. Well, okay. Okay. So I've been busy doing government loans. Now it's been a challenge getting them closed because the amount of the, on a national basis, see, I'm not the only loan officer in the whole nation signed You're up kidding. with them. You're oh, kidding. Well, you would, you would think I was, but, um, <laughs> With, with, <laughs> you know, but, but they don't have any overlays, and I have one now that I that you know that somebody just and it, it, it's just remarkable how sometimes you know, um, people manage good news, right? Because I was given a transaction with a 594 credit score that's been quote in process with a lender for a couple of weeks and it's been in contract for a month, it's supposed to close next week, and you know nobody's really done anything with it, you know. And Why do you think that it, is? Because because of COVID, there was really no solution for the lender, and they just didn't say anything, and they probably weren't aware of the of the uh, that most lenders had moved their mid scores up to six forty, right? Right, and they yeah. no longer had a home for it. But and they're not I, delivering I the bad news, and they're not delivering the bad news, right. and so eventually, you know, the the, the their realtors would just 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 call back, right? Just call. Just call Mac, and and so I, I restructured the loan and got an approve eligible. Right. But you know, I need three. I need at least three weeks because yeah. no, nothing's been done on this loan. And you tell a realtor that, right. and she's like, "Well, we're supposed to close next week." I'm like, "But we're not going to." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is it you don't get? And and, and realtors I it and everybody yesterday. sellers, everybody buyers need to be aware that there's there's so, so many delays. Yeah, and there's COVID. extenuating circumstances. Appraisals are, are, appraisals are way big behind. Delay. Way behind. And, and way let behind. me tell you, you know, we used to do we used to do final inspections the same day as closing. Yeah. yeah. No, they'll do a final inspection. You're going to wait two or three days before you actually get it back. Yeah. And you so, know, watch this here in South Florida. You know what their appraisal time is? What? what? 51 days. That's no about right. way. 51 you know, days. I, had, I waited two months on an appraisal. 51 I, I, days. I, you know, I had one that took six weeks. Yeah. And, you know, on a, on a double wide in Conroe, you know, yeah. imagine that. You know, why yeah. it would take six weeks. 
I wouldn't know why, right? Yeah. But, but but you know, especially if it's a, especially if it's a, a unique property or if it's in and you know an a, an outlying area. No, it's that, just the, the the lenders are backed up, which backs up the appraisers, which are back up the surveyors, yeah. which are backs up the inspectors. Everybody's backed mm -hmm. up. And who's you know who's growing up and saying, hey, I want to be an appraiser when I grow up. No. Nobody, right? So what's happening is, you know, there's not a whole lot of people getting into that industry. And with the re-regulation of that industry, yeah. it's not necessarily conducive for the growth. appraisal management, for, for, for the appraisal companies to, to hire and, and allow anymore. interns to, right. to work for them and pay interns to work for they them. Unless they're to. just willing to do it for almost nothing. Yeah, because, uh, you, know, you, you know, all of us are experienced on note that 10, year, 10, 15 years ago, you had appraisal companies on every damn corner. They were like yeah. churches. Okay, now we'll put these appraisal panels and all of the Great Recession fallout. Exactly. And all the appraisers and, and the all the title the companies were crooks in the re-regulation of the industry. Because it is an independent industry. They carry federal licenses and... And you know, there's a, just a great deal of responsibility that goes into that report now. Because everybody's and, a, everybody is a, a, is fraud. Everything is fraud automatically. The first instinct, oh, we got to be wrong. You but know. I can tell you, you know, I, I like I told you, I, you know, that I have an investor that doesn't have those COVID overlays, right? And I have two transactions now that, that you know, they don't have a credit score at all. Do you know who will do that? Private money, except you, you know you call Mortgage Mac, and I, I do have I do have a solution. Oh, for you. you call that dude with the mortgage name. But what's interesting though is I submitted this loan. I submitted this loan without an, with, without any credit scores. I get an approve eligible and an appraisal waiver. Really? really? Appraisal waiver? Really? He said, Did appraisal you do that? waiver? Yeah. Appraisal waiver? I, I know. Appraisal. Have have I haven't heard that in a long have time. To have an appraisal. I haven't heard the waiver of an appraisal I know, we're in this forever. Economy. So it was another one of those that? transactions that just kind of fell in my lap because someone let it fall through, didn't have a solution, wow. and, and finally, you know, someone they knew said, This call is Mac. why he's the mortgage call yeah. Mac. He's and, the mortgage Google. You know, and you know, I restructured it and you know, it's closing at the end of this month and I think it's very likely that I can do that now. I feel a lot better about making that happen because what? Appraisal waiver. Yeah. Uh, yeah, people might fuss all day long if it's, things are running behind, but as long as they close, everybody gets happy. And that yeah, happens. you know, I told you my experience I had with a title company recently. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. see, but you're a disgruntled person. Yeah. Are yeah. you are you are you calling me disgruntled or angry? Let's go with angry. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah I've been in the mortgage angry, business you know, twenty six years. I'm, you know, me, I'm disgruntled. You're disgruntled. I'm disgruntled. You're angry. <laughs> I get short. Mad. Angry, and, but he's really up. What he's really upset about is they ran out of Miss Clairol. <laughs> <That one>. Yeah, <laughs> you know where's the, where's my gray? Do you see any gray in any yeah, of this? Yeah, no, no, but I, I know. He's talking about your chin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is supposed to be salt and pepper, and it's more pepper than salt. Well, you know. But hey, Gazella likes it. What oh, what day of the week? Anyway, <laughs> I'm <be> okay. Oh my God. <laughs> This is the Real Estate You Show. We're each and every Saturday, 12 noon Eastern, 11 Central, and 9 Pacific Time. I'm joined by the magnificent and darling Dina Ramos Salazar of Platinum One Property. That's Thank my you. that's my darling right there. Oh my, I was surprised that, I worked that out. That's my darling yeah. right there. <laughs> then we have the guru of mortgage, Mac Blankenship. He of the hostage status on a bi weekly basis. Uh -oh. You know, we could see him, we could see him not. We just never know. He might have <laughs> she loves me, she loves me not. He there might you have honeydew. Yeah, honeydew. He has his honeydew weekends where he goes into witch and protection and Dean and I are out there running up and down the street trying to find him. So right. <laughs> Calling, making sure he's okay. All right. You know, we start calling the morgue, city morgue, yeah. you know, stuff like that, emergency rooms uh -huh. all across town, you yeah. know, stuff like that. Just never know where you might flying up at, you know. But remember, Gazella works in uh, charity work. Yep. And stuff like that. She did, and, she's working today, yeah. She, okay. So, and we found out why she is with him <laughs> because she picks up strays. <laughs> You know, I'm going to I'm going to say something though and this is cuz she is working today and she, and she works for an organization called the Saint Hope Foundation and the Saint, Saint Hope, Hope Founda Saint Hope Saint Hope okay. Foundation mm -hmm. and the Saint Hope Foundation um, performs dental work on people that don't either have oh. any 
any type, any type of insurance or even money, right? They just give what they can give, and you have volunteer, um, you have volunteer dentists, volunteer right. dental assistants, and 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 dental hygienists that just come in there and just volunteer their time. Don't at expect the, any like, money. Oh, like at a, at a location, like a mobile location. It's in Alvin, Texas, okay. and and. You know, and, and it, you know, just a little dental work for somebody that maybe is down and out, and right. maybe really just trying to to to, nice. to, to, yeah. to, to, to nice. turn a new leaf in life can can make all the difference in the world. I'm going to share something with you on top of that. Yeah. My ex-wife, my daughter's mother, she used to work for University of Texas Health Science Center Dental Branch, right? Okay. They have a program for the uh, underprivileged, underserved, stuff like that who don't have insurance. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Yep. Braces, a hundred dollars. Yep. Yeah. Because what they do is the dental students, the oral oral surgery students and stuff like that, this is how they get that's how they pass their test. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So it's stuff out there. You just gotta look at it. I'm yeah. glad Gisella is doing that thing. That's really. what she's doing. Yes. And today they they have a group from the school at U T that mm -hmm. are there doing similar work, exactly. right? It's volunteer, exactly. but they're doing it for They're just going the on site. They're and, going on site. The exactly. That's, that's good. Exactly right. Yeah. And that's the same program then. That's the exact same program. Yep. Is that they're going on, the on site for the free. That's right. But when you're on location, you gotta pay the ten to twenty five hundred. Yeah. It's called the Saint Hope Foundation in There it is right in, there. In, in, oh they no, got a couple Alabama. of places. No, 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 that's uh nope, maybe maybe it's not Saint Hope. Maybe it's let's yeah, see. Yeah, that's it. That's it? Yeah. St. Hope Foundation. He don't even know where once she's at, it may be He's and not used to coming out of the forgive basement. Me, forgive me, it's the Hope Clinic. Okay. Forgive me. He's she not used, used to, to coming out of the Hope basement. Foundation. He, St. Hope Foundation is similar. It's a nonprofit organization. But this is, is this Mac is, is fired. Yeah. He's totally fired. Totally fired. <laughs> he's totally fired. He's totally fired. <laughs> Mac, totally fired. you're fired. <laughs> Yo, we're trying to help him. All these people headed out to head the right, Head out to the wrong place. <laughs> Jumping in the car. Jumping in the car for free and they don't sit up in the wrong damn place. It's, forgive me, folks. It's called the Hope Clinic. There you go. Hope Clinic in Alvin, Texas. That yeah. says, Club yeah. SS Aldean. Make, okay. make up your mind, damn it. Yeah. No, I mean, you know, it's, so, it's a, such a small little place. It's in a double wide manufacturing Okay, you home can't clean really this up. You lot. flunked, okay? Oh, you I thought you were going to say flunked. something else. You <laughs> flunked. And you have failed miserably and in your effort. That is effort not the first time. To, to basically, I'm trying to get you out of Gisela's doghouse. You have made it worse for yourself. <laughs> That's it. Now That's we it. finally found That's it. The one. We finally Hello. found it. Man. Thank you, Carlos. <laughs> you rescued me. Dang. Yeah. You didn't check the test message. <laughs> <Take my shirt. laughs> yeah, flunky. <laughs> You're fired. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, at least, hey, at least you came in with the UT saying. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's legit. Right yeah, there. yeah that's <laughs> But I, I right will there. tell you that both organizations are nonprofits that, that serve the community in, in very significant ways. Both it's both the Saint Hope Foundation as well as the Hope Clinic. Okay, and on that note, uh, before we go to break and go into the noon hour, never ask Mac for directions. <laughs> 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 don't. Trust me, don't. I mean, I, I use Google Maps for places I've been a dozen times. <laughs> so we go pay some bills, we'll be back short. <laughs> I do <did> too. <laughs> Jensen Ackles here. There's a lot of scary stuff out there. But you know what's really scary? Distracted drivers. With their heads down, they're texting, they're swerving, blowing through stop signs and red lights. Not cool, yo. And not safe. And one other thing, it's not legal either. That's right. There's a new statewide Texas law that says you can't read, write, or send a text while driving. So heads up, Texas. Keep your eyes on the road. Talk, text, crash. Run. Hi there, I'm Dina Salazar, broker and owner of Platinum One Properties. 
For the past 20 years, my passion for real estate and strong sense of integrity have been the driving force and key to making real estate dreams come true for our clients. With preferred lenders, builders, and title companies, we are able to provide service beyond your expectations. So if you're in the market to sell, buy, or lease, give us a call today. Platinum One Properties, exceeding expectations and creating the standard in real estate. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. I'm E.L. Craig with BRPS Title, your marketing and growth partner. Real estate, builders, mortgage lenders. If you're looking to grow your business, call E.L. Craig with BRPS Title, 281-810-3363. That's 281-810-3363. That's E.L. Crane, BRPS Title, Director of Education and Sales, your growth partner. The title company does do what? I do. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. car driver, Kyle Larson. Whatever I'm driving, I do everything I can to stay focused and safe. You should too. That means no drinking and driving, ever. Because even the smallest amount of alcohol can make you skid out of control. Don't be a loser and wreck your life. Be a winner. Don't drink and drive. Remember, drink, drive, go to jail. Eddie here, Platinum One Properties. We're creating the standard building relationships. We're members of BROAC and GHBA, Greater Houston Builders Association. These relationships have given us the ability and the opportunity to help you with your real estate purchases. We build relationships with lenders, title companies, and home repair services. We can come in and we can help you decide the way to sell your home, how to put it on the market, and the best value for it. At Platinum One Property, we want you to get the best deal and the best offer. Edward Anderson at 281 or Dina Salazar, 832-646-9054. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1. Osborne Advisors, the official commercial mortgage company for Real Estate U on 91.1 FM, The Boss. Again, that is Osborne Advisors for all your commercial mortgage needs. Osborne Advisors, reuloan.com. That is reuloan.com for all your commercial mortgage needs at 91.1 This message was from a proud sponsor to KNY 91.1 Welcome back to the Platinum One Properties Mac is the Scrooge. I know. He don't, he don't want to help anybody. You know, that is one of my favorite shows, right? No one? I'm your hero? probably am. Your yeah, hero. I think I am. Yeah, I've never seen you so angry. Yeah, he, uh, he can't help yeah. <laughs> you. Know, when, you were, when you went into that, uh, <laughs> hair dye, uh, that, that hair dye aisle and they ain't got nothing for you, that's what you get. <laughs> yeah, yeah they, you run out and you can't, you can't get the gray colored on the chin. You and, can't get out of here. You know, you're just stuck with it. It's called a razor. Okay. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Razor days are out with COVID. Razor. Okay. I'm E.L. Crane. They're not. This is the Louis 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 you show. show. We're here each and every Saturday at 11 a.m. Central, noon Eastern, and 9 a.m. Pacific time. I'm always joined in the studio periodically by the lovely, magnificent, and dynamic Mac Blankenship. <laughs> <laughs> He's not doing his honeydew list. When he's not doing his honeydew list, yeah. he be showing up. Yeah. And then, but the this is the ring leader right here. Uh, Dina has to control Mac because you just don't know how out of line he gets. You know, Dina's over there to make, keep him under control because he just be. Yeah, y'all don't know what we go through during break time. <laughs> all right, she bugs out that whip because you know he just he just out of control. That's where they get in trouble for things they said previously on on, on uh, the air. So. <laughs> Yeah, but hey, Mac, you know what today is? December the fifth. Yeah. Okay. I have twenty six days to get this woman a husband. <laughs> you failed miserably. Yeah. I got yeah. twenty six days. It's not, Actually, it's not I got twenty game. days. I got to get her a husband so he can get a Christmas gift. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't do holidays. Are you we planning a, a, a Christmas wedding or a New Year's wedding? No, we just want to get her a gift. Just a wedding. Just, just a oh, gift. Just, just a gift. For me to get a Christmas, Christmas gift. gift. Just That's trying to get a Christmas yeah. gift. I'm not trying to put pressure on the fellas right now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, see me? Somebody tried to tell me, yeah, uh, how are you with the holidays? I said, I'm good because I don't want to confuse anybody. <laughs> I don't do no Thanksgiving. 
No Christmas, no New Year's Eve. Because if you do something like that, they think they're special. Ah, yeah. You have to eliminate the special thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you can't have the special it's, thing. Yeah, they might okay. stick around. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, word to everyone, if you're looking for um, romantic advice, do not go to the <laughs> old Or the real estate you show. Right. It's Trust not. me. That's my job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to save these people out here. Oh. You know, save your money. Yo, you know what I say about Valentine's Day, right? Would you like to know, Mac? I'm just for you, because I know you, you, you one of them go all out kind of people. Flowers die and candy melts, so why you want to buy it? <laughs> <laughs> well, the candy doesn't melt if you eat it. Yeah, but all right? the thing is, and the flowers die. don't die for you know several days if you feed. It. Yeah, and diamonds don't last forever either. I'm El Crane and they're not. No, that's a racket, though. <laughs> it's that's a racket. racket. It's, oh, it's a total man. racket. I've been it's checking into racket. that. That's a racket. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I text my exes every now and then. Want to give it back? <laughs> They're like, no. <laughs> I need the money. That's not automatic. I need the money. <laughs> Thanks for the warning, y'all. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You won't see it again. Not at all. So, D, you you going to do the uh, open house today, or Sarita's doing the open uh, house? Sarita's d there now, okay. and it's going to go on until 3. Okay. And um, then again, we'll have it uh, again on Monday, Monday from 5 to 7. Right. At 5002 Limbar in Houston, and Texas. And I'm not sharing Meyer my champagne. Land. And I'm not sharing my champagne. There will be champagne there. I'm not sharing mine. Individual bottles. Not sharing. Yes. No. And, uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, um. I did get a cash offer on Mason Mountain in Clear Lake. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. cash? cash? Mac! What? Congratulations on the cash offer you made on Dina's listing. Oh, yeah. You're welcome, Dina. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but it was anonymous. Completely anonymous, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was supposed to be anonymous. So, um, the thing about that is the fella wants to be in there before Christmas. Is that hard? The sellers. Oh, yeah. the sellers are still in there. It's not yeah, empty. Yeah, it's not. Oh. Yeah, so they're you know, hey, you got to do what you got to do. What you do what you got to do. They yeah. call them pods. They call them pods. pods Put all yourself yeah. in the pod. It's That's a right. It's pressurous, but you know, yeah. people and, make and have happen. have Chinese duck for Christmas dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it ain't that. Well. Yeah. No. Anyway, so that's that's good news and a little and congratulations. Yeah. But, but it, and which one? Which listing was this? Mason Mountain and Clear Lake. The, oh yeah, that, that really was nice, really, really nice house. Really yeah. Nice yeah. house. Yeah. yeah, that was a nice house. Congratulations. What people don't understand though is you know that this when you're working in this industry, Mac, you know, it's kind of he was venting earlier about some of the stuff that was going on. There's just a great deal of anxiety and pressure on both the listing side as well as the buyers. Yeah. As, as, this is the biggest purchase. They will make in their lives and sellers, you know, they, they you know, they, they're trying to either downsize or get something better. Right. And, and I have a big, couple of downsides. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It's, it's stressful. And it's so very stressful. Realtors and lenders alike receive the impact of those right. emotions. Now, see, watch this here. This is the only thing that 100% true. I am the best client ever when it comes to buying a house. I know what I want exactly. I don't go through all that negotiation stuff that the bathroom should be over here and the room is not being over. If it has what I want and it has the area I want to be in, I will put an offer. <clears throat> I don't go through all these old changes and, you know, night sweats because. It's <laughs> you know, I, I, I like I like this topic, you know, that that, you know, it, it is people are are um, in, um, you know, we have a. You know, an international pandemic going on, exactly. right? We um, do. Yep, and people are stressed out, and and you know, but I think that the, it, in, you know, it's sometimes it can be really difficult to get an appraisal. That's true. On on a, on a transaction, and you know, and like I said, I picked up a transaction just the other day. You know, that that, that another lender wasn't going to approve, and I figured out how to get it approved, and I called their agent and said, "Hey, guess what? We have an approval, but I'm not going to be able to close next week." And and she was like, well, "Why not?" I'm like, because I haven't even ordered the appraisal. And um, but and and then, you know, so I asked for an extension. And finally, you know, believe it or not, the, the listing agent called me. And she said, well, okay, well, how long do you need? She's real pleasant about it. I said, well, you know, the appraisal is the biggest challenge. She's like, oh, I know. I just closed one for the people that are selling the house, and they had the same problem. How yeah. long do you need? And I think that that really is an, the answer to take – uh, off a great deal of the pressure. I think that you, you know, we, we're so used to, you know, saying, well, why can't you close in 21 days? Well, maybe it's because you're 
well, you know, I'm, I'm restructuring or I'm structuring this transaction so your buyer can qualify. Yeah. And it's going to take time for them to do the things that they need to do so that they can meet the credit qualifications necessary to close. Right. And, you know, not every transaction can close in 21 days. Can we close them in 21 days? Well, you know, George, you know, yeah. of course we can. Is it? Um, feasible to do that with every single buyer on a government loan that just you know that's just getting underneath the radar to qualify it is not and but so you guys you, but, but, but I don't see, I don't think you guys go to extra yard though Mac that a lot of lenders don't go okay you have to you got to take that into account yeah, too you, got, you know to fulfill the 21 day or the 28 day or the 31 day you guys do go to extra yard because George barks because he has expectations you bark because oh, I do, and loudly. And stuff yeah, like, and you know sometimes, what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. to have those expectations met, you have to bark. But everybody's not like that because everybody's so busy worrying about offending somebody or offending a customer and stuff like that. It's not that, let me do my job so I can make you happy. Yeah, and, but I think going back to, to what Dina was saying, I think that it's, it's prudent today to if your loan officer that's been doing this for 27 years says hey we really ought to take the, fir- the uh, four weeks to do this just so that we don't have to disappoint you right. just because you know you're going to have a whole week where nobody's really going to work on Christmas right Christmas is on a Thursday yeah. people are going to take off half a day on Wednesday yeah I- if work at all and you know and some people are just taking vacation and taking the rest of the year off but what if you like me before we go on break that you don't trust loan officers that dye their hair. Anyway, I'm E.L. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, man, Mac does, he's one of the lenders that does thoroughly pre-qualify yes, the does. client. And, um, you know, any realtor out there that's been disappointed, I've been disappointed a few times this year with people's choice of lenders um, who gave pre-approval letters, right. all that. That and weren't then, valuable. And didn't close. And, and, and they right. suddenly, as they dug into the file realized that they couldn't do right. it for one reason or another that they it was impossible for you got to dig in yeah he now he does qualify down to the nuts and bolts he does do that you have to because yeah. you're, you're playing with people's earnest money that's right and stuff like this because that earnest money go hard you're not getting it back exactly you're not getting it and back. you know what I, I i really appreciate that because i do do that i don't just toss out qualification letters right. for the sake of quality and, yeah. and i had an agent that asked me one time she said well how long does it take for you to qualify and i thought well what why are you asking me a question like that? It takes, you know how long it takes? However long it takes there is how long it takes. And on that note, my favorite loan officer that dyes his hair every other day, Mike Blankenship of First Community Credit Union. I'm E.L. Crane. They are not. Danny, Danny your hair a little, looks a little darker too. But anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got to take a break and pay some bills. I don't know. Mr. Nosey. <laughs> I'm E.L. Crane with BRPS Title, your marketing and growth partner. Real estate, builders, mortgage lenders. If you're looking to grow your business, call E.L. Crane with BRPS Title, 281-810-3363. That's 281-810-3363. That's E.L. Crane, BRPS Title, Director of Education and Sales, 
your growth partner. Your title company doesn't do what? I do. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1. Eddie here, Platinum One Properties. We're creating the standard building relationships. We are members of BROAC and GHBA, Greater Houston Builders Association. This relationships have given us the ability and the opportunity to help you with your real estate purchases. We build relationships with lenders, title companies, and home repair services. We can come in and we can help you decide the way to sell your home, how to put it on the market, and the best value for it. At Platinum One Property, we want you to get the best deal and the best Best offer. Edward Anderson at 281-989-7987 or Dina Salazar, 832-646-9054. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. Bills are paid and they're still here. I'm Yale Crane. They are not. This is the Real Estate You Show here each and every Saturday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, noon Eastern, and 9 Pacific Time. I'm joined in the studio by the wondrous human being that calls himself Mike Blankenship. You know, born in Louisiana, raised in Florida, and discarded in the Mississippi River. So- <laughs> I think it was more like the Sabine River, which, which is, you know, thing. between they here and Louisiana. Yeah, yeah. Right there. Like I, the I did have a difficult um, client, and um, they were having trouble getting qualified with a lender. Really? And um, they were with another lender, and they switched over to use Mac. Him? And, um, Him? Yes. And it, it took a, a, a little bit of time, but um, they closed on their home. Really? A couple of weeks ago. You're giving him kudos. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It was a it was a difficult file, and um, they couldn't have been more happy with the experience. They talked. They said that he was always available to answer their calls. Him. Yes, mm-hmm. and that he was always, wow. um, you know, very patient with them, explaining the process, and they felt they knew what was happening throughout the, the loan okay. process. So I was glad to hear that. So and, so he's an informative individual. Yeah. So they they were first time home buyers. Yeah, and, it had to be um, structured a certain way, or it just wasn't going to work. Okay. And, and so you know. It's, so tell and, the story lenders, behind the structuring. Tell the story. Not so the, yeah. When, when they contacted me, well, um, her um, husband. husband is a DACA. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. And, you know, FHA does not allow loans to be made to folks that are DACA recipients. No. Now. Currently. Now. Currently, yeah, currently yes. Yeah. Under, the, under the new administration. And so that old, was. That, the old. We're going to call them the old one now. Yeah, the old administration. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so that was really, you know, the. the the bigger hurdle, but the other hurdle was they just didn't have uh, enough funds to close, so they were going to need seller participation. Mm-hmm. So, did you have to get like an exception because he was DACA? And they just took no. him off the loan altogether. I just took him off oh, the loan okay. altogether. Good for you. Yeah, Good for you. yeah. But he's on title. But, but the previous company just kept trying to, sh- sh- you know, because Shove it was DACA. There. Because it was DACA, right? Uh-huh. They kept trying to make it conventional, make it conventional, and right. they didn't have the credit scores to get. Ad- advantageous rate, advantageous mortgage insurance. So okay. I just, I, you know, we we it took a couple of months, right? Yeah. But they they paid down and paid off an automobile, and so that we could qualify her on just that's her good. income. Yeah, See, that's, that's those good, are kind of stories you just you know, put out there. Exactly. Because he, they, he told them what they needed to do to qualify now, right? And they really wanted to do something now. And and, and that's something you know. Well, you know this, Dina, because we talk about it on our weekly calls. You have got to let. I'm talking to you now. You have got to let people know your proficiencies and what you do to help people get across the finish line, Max. Seriously. Yeah, yeah. and you know, and I got to give Dina kudos because you know I've had a, I've had a, several people like that. Well, got, yeah, I got the little Be- kumbaya thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> because I've had a couple of transactions like that, and, and you know, and I know that one in particular that strikes me was very similar situation, uh-huh. and you know, they just gave up. Oh wow. They just gave up. They're like, no, we just, you know, because they needed they needed a certain price range, period. Mm-hmm. They needed seller contribution, and they and their realtor just gave up, right? Okay. And Dina didn't give up. Dina kept looking, and finally, what, we found a property for them that was ideal for them. It had a little acreage, had a yeah. nice little okay. house on it. It was in Alvin, Texas, mm-hmm. and it was just it was just perfect, oh, wow. right? And it um, took a little while for the appraisal, but... Um, but you, you know, but when you have dedicated servants to their craft, like and we Wendina, extended the contract, didn't we? Yeah. It, because we, got, we yeah, I extended because we, it for uh, thirty days because, uh, we, because of the appraisal and mm-hmm. delays and stuff and the option period. The option but think period, about this: yeah. dedicated servants to your craft. That's how you get them across the finish line. That's how you get them across. Because the finish you, line. like you said, somebody just threw their hands up and just gave up. But most people in 
this industry, they don't understand the extra yard, okay? Exceeding expectations. Mm -hmm. I, I have experienced agents that have been around long enough to know, right? Have been through enough transactions that have had challenges that, 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 um, that you know, sometimes things just happen that are just beyond the, beyond, you know, it's, anybody's fault right it mm -hmm. just happens so what do we do to s solve the problem is 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 the question you need to be answered yeah. asking not whose fault it is that's right yeah and see the whole thing is what what you have here and I'm gonna say at the real estate you show is too much damn experience but anyway <laughs> experience but those who are relentless in their efforts to support those whom they work with and for yeah, yeah, and I'm relentless. Once, yeah. once, once we get into under, once I send that qualification letter and we get a contract, huh? yeah, you know, I'm relentless. We, we I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to close. Yeah, you got I to close. But in your, you know, even when I was on your side of the boulevard, you know, my ex, she would, uh, who was in the office with me, she give up. She was one of those people that gave up, and I would bet her, and I would win hands down all the time. You gave up because you went down one road. When there are a multiplicity of roads to go down to get something done. You can't give up based on, oh, that door is locked. See if the back door is open. See if the side window is open. You have got to try every entrance to get something done. That's right. That's right. And, you know, I had another transaction last month, too, that closed at the very beginning of of November. And it rolled over from October to November. Right. right? We, we, we signed on time, but it was a mail out. And it was, you know, a major, the major, you know, internet company just couldn't do the loan. Right. And and you're right, it, it didn't fit Fannie's profile, but guess what? It fit Freddie's profile. There you go. Right? And Freddie... Which means you didn't give up. Which which means I didn't give up, right? It was asset, but it, it you know, it took me an extra day, right, to get it done, but... But you know, asset depletion is 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 a, a term that we use for taking your assets mm -hmm. and, and, and amortizing them with certain calculations over a period of time. Two years, using three it years, as five income. years, exactly. It, 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 using it as income, and, and Fanny just had very specific requirements that she did not meet. So when she came to me, she was like, you know, what am I going to do? And I'm like, well, let's try this. And yeah. we went Freddie. Freddie doesn't have as many as many requirements associated with um, what that asset doesn't necessarily have right. to be from a retirement account or from a 401k and you don't have to have years of managing a large account right. and and uh, so we did asset depletion but then at the end of the day I still ended up with a DTI 51 right and she has no debt so what's the solution and she has no mortgages so what do you do you rewrite your insurance. Oh wow! Yeah, she'd had the same insurance company and for two properties that she's yeah. that she's owned forever, right? Free and clear. And okay. I'm like, hey, <laughs> we need to revisit this because I think you're paying way too much for this. Number one and number two, we're not going to close unless we get the insurance I had lowered one on this. Client that had been paying thirty five hundred dollars a year for their home insurance. And uh, got another quote, and it was seventeen hundred. Exactly. So they've just been with the same yeah. folks for years and years, and have been going up every year. And they never decided to shop around. That's right. So I had to flip it to Freddie, and then rewrite the insurance policies on um, on on the two properties that she owned, free and clear. And boom, I'm on, I'm at you know under fifty yeah. percent, prove eligible. Let's close. So if you have clients out there that you're trying to get qualified and maybe need some somebody to look at look over the file, if somebody else has said no, they can't do it, don't give up. Um, it's good to get a second opinion, just like a doctor. If you were sick, you know, uh, get a second opinion. Somebody else may have some good advice. Mac is saying he's got 28 years of experience, and believe me, uh, he does a good job. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, Thanks. he does a good job, except dyeing his damn hair. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just... Well, first of all, at least I have some. Yeah, that's true, too. But you realize I have some as well, but I just shave mine off. I, I, see, I <laughs> gave you, up the fight. You know what? I gave I up mean, the fight. That, that, ought to, you know, that would be just the ideal scenario if you would just let it grow for a week and come on the show and do the show. That what ain't happening. That ain't happening. What do you think? Come on, folks. No, every, every show and picture needs the Hitman, and this is my Hitman look. <laughs> How long have you had the Hitman look? Since 1994. Wow. I've been shaving my head since 1994. That's right. Mm. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll just go and do mine one day and do the EL look. Yeah, and then you will be girlfriendless for sure. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that. There's no denying that. 
done. <laughs> we are great, and they are not. Exactly. That's right. You have the lovely and vivacious Dina Salazar. She of I'm going to get her a boyfriend and a fiance by Christmas Eve so she can get some gifts this no year. No way. He said a husband. No. Yeah, I, I, now it's fiance or boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, love, love, you know, the pressure. It's the pressure. <laughs> it's the pressure. <laughs> And I'm going to get Mac his old keys to his shackles so he can leave the house in whenever he won't do. <laughs> That's his Christmas present. <laughs> That's his Christmas present. <laughs> so on that note, I'm E.L. Crane. They are not. That is true. That's true. I dress myself. I don't know who dresses him. Okay. Now, Medina looks lovely all the time. No. E.L., take that back. I He is the first one. <laughs> To critique me, because you mean you're really wearing that today? I, he's told me that before. He goes, "You're really wearing that, Dina." I'm like, "What is wrong with what I'm wearing?" He's like, "Dina, you can do better than that, Dina." <laughs> he's like, "You've told me that. Like, I've known Leo for a few years now. It's my and, job. Yeah, I think he's told me that a couple of times for sure. You know, I'm trying to get you a husband. You making it hard on me? Okay, this is El Crane. We're gonna take a break, pay some bills while Dina uh, goes out in the mirror and check out her present outfit. See how it's working for her. <laughs> <laughs> Osborne Advisors, the official commercial mortgage company for Real Estate You on 91.1 FM, The Boss. Again, that is Osborne Advisors for all your commercial mortgage needs. Osborne Advisors, R-E-U, loan.com. That is R-E-U, loan.com for all your commercial mortgage needs at 91.1 FM. This message was from a proud sponsor to K N Y 91.1 FM. Motorcycles are not invisible, but they can seem that way to drivers who aren't paying close attention. Look twice for motorcycles. There's a life riding on it. I'm E.L. Crane with BRPS Title, your marketing and growth partner. Real estate, builders, mortgage lenders. If you're looking to grow your business, call E.L. Crane with BRPS Title, 281-810-3363. That's 281-810-3363. That's E.L. Crane, BRPS Title, Director of Education and Sales, your growth partner. Your title company doesn't do what? I do. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1. Eddie here, Platinum One Properties. We're creating the standard building relationships. We are members of BROAC and GHBA, Greater Houston Builders Association. This relationships have given us the ability and the opportunity to help you with your real estate purchases. We build relationships with lenders, title companies, and home repair services. We can come in and we can help you decide the way to sell your home, how to put it on the market, and the best value for it. At Platinum One Property, we want you to get the best deal and the best Best offer. Edward Anderson at 281-989-7987 or Dina Salazar 832-646-9054. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1. Osborne Advisors, the official commercial mortgage company for Real Estate You on 91.1 FM The Boss. Again, that is Osborne Advisors for all your commercial mortgage needs. Osborne Advisors, R-E-U Loan.com. That is R-E-U Loan.com for all your commercial mortgage needs at 91.1 This message was from a proud sponsor to Keenan Y 91.1 Bills are paid. This is E.L. Crane, and I'm joined by Dina Salazar and Mac Blankenship. Two of the nicest people you ever want to meet. They He's exaggerating, he, folks. He, y'all are nice people. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. Look at that. Mac's face. He's making What? Which now, all of a sudden, you're trying to be a marine person? No, no. He no, is but, angry today, but, though, a little but, more but, than usual. What? But no, it's just the compliment. It's just like. I always compliment you. I always compliment you. What is wrong with you? <laughs> no, he doesn't, folks. You've been making fun of this sweater since I got here. <laughs> what? 
Well, that's your damn fault right there. I ain't got to do it. <laughs> okay, you see, uh, I'm trying to give you a nice person. I wasn't talking about your dressing habits. I was talking about your okay, humanity. Nice. I'm going to tell you what, though. What's that? You did me a favor this year. Um, I did? When, when we had uh, the Big 12, when I, when I became a member of the Big 12, yeah. these ladies yes. have... I mean, they're not just real estate experience, business, entrepreneurship. Um, they bring all this stuff to the table, but also there's quite a few fashionistas. In there. Oh God, Jesus, yes. And, um, <laughs> what a what? Fashionistas. They got a hold of me a couple of times <laughs> and set me straight on some things early. On. I didn't even know what was happening. I was like, "What?" They go, "Yes." I was like, "What?" They not the nice. They, yeah, and they, they do. The they're nice. very helpful. So, yeah. I and really it's really not condescending or ugly. No. They, they, they want really, everybody to look they good. Want, they're helping everybody to look yeah. better, and mm -hmm. it's been a process, and I think it's we've all grown in so many different ways. That's one of them. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, when I, I – uh, Mac, you, of course, you weren't on this. I'm uh, With the, the Big 12, we have the group text thing. Yeah. And so I said, I'm going to give you ladies one last chance to laugh at me at my expense, and I told them about my uh, escapades with uh, salsa dancing and uh, the limbo. limbo. Mac, that thread went on for two days, okay? <laughs> they came up with so many uh, jokes about him. It was, I mean, I was laughing. And you know what? If I were the credit restoration guy in, in what, what was his name? Gordy? Gordy. See, Gordy. he wasn't there. He wasn't there? No, he wasn't there. Oh, my gosh. I would have been, you know, I'd have had my, no, after he what no, see, you did to him in the studio. Okay. Yeah, okay. Was, he wasn't After there. what you did to him in the studio, man, I would have been taking pictures and, Man, well, I he was, was trying to get me when I was with him. Yeah. He was trying to get. It wasn't work. He was talking trash. I said, "You know what? You're a little short person that don't know how to dress themselves. Get away from me." <laughs> you say that to me. No, but see, this his girlfriend was there. Oh, <laughs> well, you say that to me. <laughs> but Gazella's not in the in but the you, studio. You've done well, you've done that with Gazella. Well, that's true yeah, too. Yeah, because yeah, well, yeah. I'm trying to get her to do better for herself. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, Dina. You were telling me about um, a, a program that you're going to be a part of. Um, what is it? What, what they call it? Reality show. Yeah. So um, one of my realtors is uh, what's an auditioning process at this mo moment. We don't have it um, in hand, but uh, uh, yeah, for a real estate um, reality show mm -hmm. slash his other career. What's his other career? He is a professional drag queen. Oh, like Mac. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, he really, he's won many awards. He's a Miss Gay America, just, I mean, on and on. And um, so he's he's gotten a lot, a, not, a lot of notoriety for that oh, wow. career. Mm -hmm. And um, he was also one of our top agents for many years. So, really? Yeah. So he, he balanced top, the whole thing he out? He is a younger, he's just got endless energy. He's extremely... Um, just a kind person, just okay. hard, hard working, and, and um, a great, uh, just a hundred percent integrity in his work and in his life. So, um, uh, yeah. So we're uh, going to uh, understand, be interviewing, doing some final interviews. Oh wow! For that and um, in which case uh, you might see a little more of Platinum One and okay. the team working out there. Okay. Yeah. And I, right now, I cannot shake the thought of uh, Mac in a Platinum wig. <laughs> Did you just say that? Well, you know, that would be interesting to, yeah, to have them. Yeah. It's kind of like a makeover. Yeah. Man. yeah. In a platinum and, and wig. And just kind of see what how, you know, how they can yeah. make somebody look. Platinum wigs and a, yeah. and a sequin blouse. Yeah. That's Mac. <laughs> did he just say that? He just said that, didn't he? He did. <laughs> not my You'd have to shave off the beard, though. Yeah, you got to go with the That's beard. That's not happening. Yeah. <laughs> This, a, but then, you know, they got some bearded drag queens. He can fly, fly with that oh, one. Oh, true. There. That's true. Yeah. There you go. So, Mac, um, the conventional loan amount went up. It did. FHA loan amount 548. went up. 548. Yep, it did. Okay. Yep. Um, I don't remember the exact amounts for FHA. Is that because the pricing has gone up lately or did Correct. it just do an adjustment? Yeah, it's a, it's a calculation that, that both agencies use um, specific to on, on a national basis to, okay. to make that um, – and, and, and I don't think it's, it has nothing to do with median price, but I, I don't know oh, what the okay. algorithm is. But yeah, it's it's a it's a calculation that's made annually based upon um, the value increases year over year. And how much of that is actually helpful? You know what I mean? It's like, well, if you couldn't qualify, if if it was like 
Five forty. It's like five forty six now. You said. Yeah. So you know, it's like I'll give you a great example. I I'll give you a couple of really good examples okay. that are recent. Like I closed a barn dominium just before. Oh yeah. Right. Right, and it was a four hundred thousand dollar price range, and it just so happened to be in a county where a, a, a high cost county where FHA would allow up to four hundred four thousand. Oh, okay, I right? got it. Now. And it was I the only it, it was the only way, and and my buyer qualified, and we had to go FHA. It was the only way to go, and for us in our situation, and so yeah, it can be useful, right? Um, and it, I, you know, I have another client client that we that we talked about that has no credit score. Right. Right, and. And having no score, it's you're you're, you're and, and they and they have no score on purpose. How do you have? A, how, how can you do that? They just pay cash for everything. Well, hell, that's right. Me. So it's not like we don't. It's not but like we I don't pay have cash for everything, but I still have a score. Yeah, but, but, you have but a I have. And a yeah, car note. They, they pay cash for cars. They don't that. have. <laughs> they don't have active. <laughs> they don't have <laughs> active credit cards, yeah. and you know they're buying a really large house, and right. and so. You know what that's done is that's created a scenario where they don't have to put down the full amount to qualify because I can do a Fannie Freddie loan with no credit score, right? And Fannie went from five ten to five forty eight. Mm -hmm. So as of December twelfth, so that's what's the difference? Thirty eight thousand dollars less. And what's the credit gonna, score requirement on that? That they're going to have to put down. No, what do you what's mean? the credit score requirement for what? The, for that five forty eight. So they don't have a credit score. That's what I was wondering. So how did they don't need? No, it? I'm saying how would they get that with yeah. no credit score? Oh well, you know, believe it or not, Fannie's um, a, 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 a automated underwriting system uh -huh. has made provisions over the last several years to analyze loans electronically, okay. and I haven't approved eligible. <coughs> okay. Well, I haven't out of scope because it, it it didn't approve my my higher loan amount yet, uh, which doesn't take effect again until December the twelfth. But. Right. Um, but yeah, I got to accept eligible. So now it's just who can I sell it to? Oh, okay. Got right. It. And and so you know I'm one of those few. I hope. Well, I think I'm one of those few people out there that has a very specific investor that will do the manual underwrite that's required for that loan. Okay. Approve it and close it. Now, do they still have you know? Because you know, in the past I was on your side of the boulevard. Does it still have the approve eligible where you just turn in the uh, conditions that? <laughs> Unfortunately, because of COVID, prior to COVID, yeah, you know, okay. you could just follow the AUS, but right. now it's considered, it's downgraded immediately to a manual underwriting. Oh, wow. But even since COVID, most most lenders will not do a manual underwrite. They just okay. will not, right? Because, you know, those manual underwrites, I, I think you you have too much um, emotion involved in it, may, you know, because yeah. they take those, you know, those underwriters take ownership of it. You know, like my son's mother, she's an underwriter and lead, team leader, right? But she was from the, she came out of the Great Recession. So she looks at things vastly different than her underwriters do, all right? So she'll say, no, this is fine because they've proven this over here or they have a letter of explanation over there. Some of these people, now those underwriters, those new wave underwriters I'm going to call, they just deny, deny, deny. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I experienced that. You know, I'm, you know, I'm. You know, I've experienced underwriters that were probably in middle school when I got in the business. Yeah. Or maybe even elementary school. Right. So you're right. So they haven't been around. Right. They when, don't see. When, when, you know, it took two weeks to get a credit report. Exactly. And um, in, in every single file was a manual underwriter. Exactly. And, exactly. But I do have an investor if you don't have a credit score. And, and again, it's, it's, you know, I have two folks that I'm working with right now that don't have credit scores, but it's on purpose. Right. Right. It's that, hey, I pay cash for any, everything. I don't, I, you know, I don't use credit cards um, you know they haven't bought a new car in 10 years and they, they just don't have a credit score but they have liquidity mm -hmm. right and you know but so, let me so tell you about putting, the credit card 20 percent down or more I had a right? discover card that I didn't use they took it back they took it back they sent me a letter that says you have not used this credit card in 12 months and, they, and they canceled they it. canceled it yeah yeah, yeah they're doing that, yeah, now. They do used that to, now use they used to you know well Hey, you know, they encourage you and try to incentivize you to use it. Now they just cancel them. Yeah. yeah. But in, in, and I'm, I want to underscore that these pe these clients have no credit score on purpose. Yeah. Right. It's just part of how they manage what about their affairs. Alternative credit? Light bill, so phone yes, bill, I'm doing like that. exactly that. I'm okay. building a credit report for both of them. We're okay. using utilities. We're using uh, phone bills. Okay. We're using insurance. Mm -hmm. um, and um, 
and utilities, right? Because everybody usually has trash, electric, yeah. water. Because you know, I mean, I, I'm, so, I'm gonna use myself as a guinea pig right here, right? I get my Experian update every two weeks. You know, this is what's going on. It says things like "We're proud of you," like "Oh, thank you," whatever. Okay, so they tell me that they're proud and two of me. Weeks later, what happened? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, so I called them and I said, "How are you addressing?" my credit and saying you can do this you can do that now that i want to do this do that because you know in my mind i want to know what i want to do next year and they were saying they are monitoring my deposit history what yes they're monitoring my deposit history it's not i mean my payments you know are automatic anyway yeah but they are monitoring my deposit history to see what goes in versus what goes out so they, and, and so who's providing this model? The, uh, is it your, is the, your, the bank. Is your bank? Yeah. My you know. bank. You know, it's interesting. You know, you know and I've sh talked about this before. You know, when I got in the business, we didn't use credit scores, right. right? And the credit scores came out, and there was really one algorithm for it, right? And we weren't allowed to give that information to the consumer. Right. It was, you know, it's their score, but we bought it. It was owned by... You know, FICO, yeah. and we were not allowed to release it to the consumer. The consumer, what did they do? They went, you know, some consumers went out and filed suit. And right. before you know it, legislation was passed and, and that said that everybody has a right to their credit report and they have a right to the score, but they have to pay for it. Right. Right? So guess what was born out of that? A whole new industry. That's true. Right? A That's whole right. new industry that never existed before. And and I got to believe that because I know that the scoring, the original scoring model, FICO model, uses just your credit report, right? right. And, and the, the amount of credit you have, your right. pay history, um, and there's a couple of other factors. Uh, when I was at the bank, when I, I mean, years and years ago, when I was at the bank, they used the term of uh, where you lived at. One year, two year, five year, yes. ten year. That yes. that was a calculator as well. You know, and and that's right. And so what's been born out of that are several, gosh, probably a half dozen other scoring models right. that are used by financial institutions to yeah. make a determination as to whether or not yeah. somebody should be granted credit. But the big cheeses are TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian still. So on that note, we're going to take a break, come back for our final segment of December the 5th, 2020, in the year of our Lord. Uh, see, this is the new and approved me, okay? Wow. On the Real Estate You Show. Because I work with such nice, wonderful people. Oh, my goodness. His he, face. You know what? I think he's buttering us up for Christmas, Something's right? He's, he, you know, he's going he's gonna to say, What's hey, happening? you know, what? I was thinking, this, I want a new watch for Christmas. I Something's went coming up. And worked and had fun for a change. That's all. Oh, that's, oh, he's still in a good mood, Mac. That's what that is. Yeah. Oh. It's not going past this weekend. Just don't okay. prepare. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that makes <laughs> me feel Thank better, you for clar right? Clarifying God, I feel that. so much better. So we can take a break. A we'll be back. <laughs> you know, I was going to have to go home and worry about him, you know? Yeah. yeah. I'm good. Say, so what's wrong okay. with you? He yeah. was nice what's today. Happened? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> or, or you'd be like my sister said, did you have a stroke? But anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you having challenges with blood flow up there? Yeah. It's like, wow. My sister told me that this morning. Like, what is wrong with you? She says, you don't never talk this kind. He was smiling in a few pictures too, Mac. I saw it. I'm going to have to go back and look at those. That's yes, right. Yeah. So take a break, pay some bills. We'll come back for the final segment. That's right. I was smiling. I was yeah. shocked at that. Crane with BRPS Title, your marketing and growth partner. Real estate, builders, mortgage lenders. If you're looking to grow your business, call E.L. Crane with BRPS Title, 281-810-3363. That's 281-810-3363. That's E.L. Crane, BRPS Title, Director of Education and Sales, your growth partner. The title company doesn't do what? I do. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.9. Top 40s. Dance. Latin. 
country. Pop. Rock and roll. All at one station. 91.1 FM, The Boss. Everyone loves animals. Some people even make them wear seatbelts. But not all people wear seatbelts, which is ridiculous because seatbelts save lives. Don't be a statistic this year. If you love it, click it. Osborne Advisors, the official commercial mortgage company for Real Estate U on 91.1 FM, The Boss. Again, that is Osborne Advisors for all your commercial mortgage needs. Osborne Advisors, reuloan.com. That is reuloan.com for all your commercial mortgage needs at 91.1 FM. This message was from a proud sponsor to KNY 91.1 FM. Hey, I'm E.L. Crane of the Real Estate U Show. Each and every Saturday, 11 a.m. Central Time at RadioTheBoss.com, worldwide on the Global Live Network. If you're interested in building, selling, or buying real estate, tune in to the Real Estate You Show with me, Dina, and Mortgage Mac. Talk to you soon. Real Estate You, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, RadioTheBoss.com. Hi there. I'm Dina Salazar, broker and owner of Platinum One Properties. For the past 20 years, my passion for real estate and strong sense of integrity have been the driving force and key to making real estate dreams come true for our clients. With preferred lenders, builders, and title companies, we are able to provide service beyond your expectations. So if you're in the market to sell, buy, or lease, give us a call today. Platinum One Properties, exceeding expectations and creating the standard in real estate. This was a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. Okay, I'm E.L. Crane. This is the Real Estate You Show here each and every Saturday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Central Standard Time on RadioTheBoss.com, RealEstateYouShow.com. And we are at 91.1 FM, The Boss, here in beautiful downtown Woodlands, and I don't even know where that's at. <laughs> you know where the Woodlands is. Yeah, no, see- downtown. Where's the downtown? Yeah. That's the point. That's I'm a good about. point. That's the point. I'm, right I'm with there. that. I'm with yeah, that. You know, beautiful mm-hmm. downtown Woodlands. I was giving instructions to say that. <laughs> Since when do you follow instructions? But that's true, too. Yeah. Never. Yeah. I know. But, you know, you can watch us worldwide on the Global Live Network. That's you true. know, And we have some things cooking for 2021 because Carlos is on a mission for yeah, 2021. He is. Yes. And he let his hair just, you can see his hair. I like it. You know, he, he got this whole I'm Fabio thing. He, he's uh-huh. fa- Fabio now. He's Fabio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls oh it off. Boy. He pulls it oh, off. boy. Oh, boy. Fabio's yeah, done Fabio, it now. There you yeah. go. With yeah. his dark flowing locks. Mm-hmm. All right. So we have things happening in 2021 we're preparing for right now, like our REU Florida, and we have our apps up on uh, Google Play and the Android app, so, you know, with our advertisers and marketing. So we're going to expand the Real Estate You Show in regard to our footprint and incorporate more Builder Boost stuff. And if I get Mac to dress better, I might take him a couple, two, three places. <laughs> hey, you know what? I... I was just fine at that last event, was I not? You were. You blended See? in. You didn't stick out like See? a sore thumb. I said. And he worked out his moves for the crab cakes, so were you know it wasn't obvious. I did so work what, out my crab cake moves. No, it wasn't noticeable because yeah, I'd have had him put it out. Wasn't yeah, noticeable. I'd have had him put out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so thanks, Stacy and Dina, for, for garnering <laughs> crab cakes for me. Yeah. But now the RMGs. Oh my lord. <laughs> These. Photos, these the marketing, their outreach with the builders and the developers. Twenty twenty one is going to be an absolutely amazing year for all of the agents and RMG and the ones that's coming in because I found out they're mentoring other agents, sharing what we do, how we do it. You know, because we they've been asked the question of 
But you had different brokerages. And your point is what? What is that? We all have licenses. Yeah. You have buyers. I have buyers. You have listings. I have listings. Are we trying to move them? And that's what it is. And uh, my, like my sister told me this morning, you guys have something that's working over there because she pays attention to the comments. She pays attention to the comments, the things that people say. And if you look at the pictures and the, and you don't see, um, you know, you see some of those pictures where everybody looks phony. Yeah. Like it's not real, like they're plastic looking. You don't see that. You just don't see that. And I sure hate, I missed that photo shoot at Houstonian because Houstonian had good food. <laughs> I know, they do. <laughs> Got great food. But see, the BRPS title of Christmas party and retreat is at Houstonian next week. Oh yeah, so don't 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 call me. I'll call you. So so so, 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 so say that again. We're at the Houstonian. Our Christmas party and our retreat is at the Houstonian Hotel. Wow. Oh, the RMG. No, 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 no. BRPS. BRPS. Oh, no. yeah. You know, no trespassers allowed. I was gonna say no trespassers. Wow. You know, and you know, we, and and we I, want to you come. Know, I, I'm ask not. What I, I wouldn't consider myself a trespasser. You know, because if you do hashtag BRPS title. Mm -hmm. What happened? Oh, my gosh. It's just tons and tons of content out there that I've helped create for you guys. Really? Really. You're still not going. I'm E.L. Crane. <laughs> you know, I tried. I did. You just want some damn crab cakes. I just want <laughs> crab cakes. We got, la we got lamb chops. Oh, oh, man, those were good. <laughs> yes, they were. The lamb chops were oh. awesome. Okay, so we have that. So, Mac, what you got going on in the upcoming week besides not coming to my party? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I have uh, several uh, home buyer appointments. I, you know, I'm, right now I'm, I'm working to close out December. You know, it's it, we, it's, crunch, it's, crunch, it's crunch time. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good month and okay. crunch time. Um, I'm hoping maybe I get one more contract in there okay. um, that you know I, I can close. But you know, I'm working on some transactions that you know other that um, that you know that that couldn't get done. You got, right, you got for, your 2021 whatever, plan together. Reason. What's that? You got your 2021 plan together? Not yet. Not okay. yet, but I think I'll take the Christmas, the week off for Christmas, and and, okay. and put that plan together. Uh, uh, from Florida, I but, was pushing <laughs> and shoving them from Florida about twenty twenty one. Yeah, yeah, you know, and, and you know, and I, you know, I, I like everything that you're saying in reference to the REU show, and I'd, I'd like to think that you know, twenty twenty one, I'll be able to get more engaged with some of those activities and and be because yeah. you know, we we do offer some pretty cool stuff like list reports and mortgage coach and and things that you know I haven't had an opportunity. It was it was a different year, right? It was yeah. just kind of caught you off guard. Didn't catch me off guard. It caught me off guard. And because you're short. Yeah, yeah, and but you 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 got so busy just taking new business in and and yeah. and that you just didn't have a lot of time to do much of anything else except service the people that were asking you for service at that point. And it was a time. lot. And it, it was, was a lot. lot. It was a lot. It, it was, was a lot. lot. Yeah, right? You have and to admit that was a lot yeah. because like last month, I... I got my reporting yesterday. But but not, only that, but not only with that was it for me. But you know you you look at your your production staff too, and all of a sudden you're shoving in all these loans, and they're like, well, you know, it, it caught them off guard as well. Yeah, everybody's um, so. kind of behind a bit. Yeah, you know? yeah, on their on their pre on their preparation. Yeah, not on their activity and sales, but right. on their pre on their preparation yeah. Yeah. because you have so many people that are doing well. I mean, a, a, a lot of agents do. Uh, I one agent. The, um, over at KW Memorial, she just started out probably about three months ago on her license. And it's, she said, she had like a seven leases, right, that went through. And she says, well, I only have leases. And you know what I told her? I said, did the check clear? And you got to start yeah. somewhere. And the thing about leases that agents need to keep in mind is keep in touch with those people. Yes, yes. Check in with them at the six-month point see how they're doing, and then um, before the year ends, with at least three months before their term ends, to ask them the critical question, are you going to continue leasing, or why don't you look into seeing uh, yeah. this is what you could afford with that same amount of rent to yeah, purchase. Exactly. And um, a lot of them haven't thought about it. Um, it's very They important. literally forget they, them. They forget. Yeah. And yeah. so those are leads waiting for you you know right. a year from now or however long their lease is you know that's that's really a lot a great deal of wisdom in that and just you know in, in my 27 year career you know I, i've done business with people you know that you know i'm doing a loan for um third or fourth loan for grandchildren yeah right of whose grandparents i did a loan for 27 years ago and 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 i don't find many 
buyers that come to me that are using the same real estate agent that they used five years ago, six right. years ago, seven years ago. It's because the industry, you know, just notorious is notorious for not necessarily staying in touch. And I find that the agents that are that I do business with on a long term basis, you know, have a strategy for you know, for staying in touch with that person that leases or that yeah. person that bought their first home five years ago. And it's right. like, I, you know, I have a team that I do business with. And, you know, 10 years ago, we were doing first time home buyers in a particular community that today has doubled and tripled in yeah. price. Right. And now they're selling their house and they're buying, you know, 900, 700 and million dollar houses. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, and a, and a lot of times is we, we get caught up in that transaction that's in front of us mm -hmm. with no vision Not for the future term. no yeah. long term it's like oh no, this right now but what about the thing behind you that's going to change they had children they want to downsize yeah. they want to invest in real estate but yeah. you don't reach back out to them so dina's point is very very valid about staying connected you know, to I the have, people that you work with i have with. two transactions this month that i had earlier this summer right it's because you know, they've been financially successful and now they're buying second home on Lake yeah. Travis. They're buying investment property yeah. inside the loop. And, and uh, so you're right. You have to stay in touch yeah. with those people because that's your that's your that's your best source of business. But, you know, I think that it's OK to to have a couple of different avenues. And right. I think that's more of a farming concept. Yeah. I think you got to have some sort of, you know, hunting concept in your business, exactly. and, 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 and which and, and, and would be and which would be as an which would be the traditional sales right. process which is here's, hey, here's, here's contact, my Dina example. prospect contact Mac have you ever paid attention to uh, Dina's pictures when she has a closing um I mean, the depth of them. Now I feel like that you've been talking to Gazelle and she's asking me, have, did you see that picture I put on the other day? Yeah. Well, what it is is. <laughs> no, I, you, did, I no, saw it, but it is, I didn't it's, see it's, it. It's not uh, the normal propaganda picture. Yeah. The people are really happy. Genuinely. And yeah. you can see that she was the contributor to that happy. Mm -hmm. Because she's not, I, I, I tease my boys, stop fake smiling. She's not fake smile. She is actually engaged with the people she's working with to bring out that joy because, and I've told all the agents, they're dream makers. They make dreams come true in regard to home ownership. Yeah, that's and true. so you have to look at that. So I look at pictures, all right? I, I look at that modeled picture, that choreographed picture. None of her pictures, they're all is just this joyful, exuberant. Thing. Well, thank you for noticing that. Love it. Yeah. And, and that that makes happy. my day when, yeah. when I hear stuff like that. I'm going to end just with this tidbit. Um, there's a great deal of concern for realtor safety about this time of year. Oh, yes. yeah. I'm glad yes. you brought that up. Um, thank you. Yeah. So um, any realtors that are doing open houses or doing showings, please make sure that, you know, you have let people know where you are. Yes. Make sure you go in teams if you have to. Um, whatever it is to be safe, both men and women who are out there trying to do their job in real estate, we have a real estate agent missing, and um, you know this isn't the first time something like right. this has happened. Um, it's it's always a concern for safety, but especially this time of year. Yeah, yeah. 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 thank you for that because Thank I because I told the ladies when they posted that morning, if y'all need me to come run out there to you, just let me know where you're at. If I'm available, I'll come out there to you and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. But don't go if you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Yeah. Agents don't go if you feel uncomfortable. Thank you, Dina. Yeah. So that has been the Real Estate You Show. Class is dismissed. I'm E.L. Crane. We are not. <laughs> Not. They are not, especially that non-dressing fellow over there. And so, I'm okay. going to send a happy birthday to my daughter, Sabrina Salazar. Happy birthday, yes. Sabrina. You, you, got, you got a kid? Who knew? She got a kid. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, Sabrina. <laughs> she yours? I'm just saying. Yes. Okay. You got kids? Mac? Really? Three of them, yeah. You Three sure? Three boys. You sure? Mm -hmm. Three grandchildren. Too. You got proof? Absolutely. Oh, he's got the cutest grandkids. There you go. I've seen their pictures on Facebook. Tell the people. <laughs> tell the people bye, damn it. Bye, people. Bye, everybody. <laughs> thanks. Be safe. <laughs>
Hempstead to Moss Hill. You are listening to KNLY.